Hello everyone. Welcome to this quick start video about the new HP Aruba Networking CX5420 switch. My name is Vincent Gile. I'm technical marketing engineer for CX switching, and I'm going to introduce you to this new modular four hack unit chassis with six alt width slots, ideal for campus deployment from VXLAN access layer up to small medium aggregation core layer. Let's see how this new platform sits in the HP Aruba networking portfolio. Here is the current CX switching portfolio with a single operating system and common architecture from the edge to the data center. The new CX5420 is positioned between 6200 and 6300 for both features and scale. Let's see in more details this new platform. This is a powerful, secure, and layer 3 highly modular chassis with four rack unit, layer 3 BGP, USPF, RIPE, and PIM for IPv4 and IPv6, and class 8 PoE capable. It will be very easy to deploy, scalable with this half with line card slots with up to 160 gigabit per second forwarding, 80 gigabit ingress and 80 gigabit egress with a maximum of 144 ports. It has layer three full routing with BGP, OSPF, RIPE and PIM, supporting a single data plane VRF and one dedicated management VRF. It has the dynamic segmentation capability with VXLAN termination endpoint, with static VXLAN as an extended edge capable to terminate to a stop VTEP. And of course, it has the intelligent monitoring capability delivered by Network Analytics Engine embedded natively on the switch. The high ability performance is achieved with two management modules and the VSX architecture. So you can combine two chassis inside the same VSC cluster and get the benefit of zero downtime while doing a VSX live upgrade. It has a robust security with MaxSec capable line cards. So all the ports are MaxSec capable in hardware and MaxSec will be supported in a future release. Get the full benefit of the CX portfolio with the uh, programmable AOS CX operating system with native REST API, capability to manage that switch like any other wired, wireless or SD1 equipment from Central, have a flexible management via web UI, CLI, NetEdit or Central, and of course, the lifetime warranty, the limited lifetime warranty with optional advanced tax support. So this is really ideal for mid-market enterprises, either at the access or at small medium aggregation core layers. Here are the key highlights of this new chassis. High performance switching with up to 960 gigabit per second non-blocking bandwidth and up to 714 mega packet per second forwarding capacity with line rate at 64 bytes. It has a new ASIC fully optimized for this new centralized switching architecture. Security first networking with built-in MaxSec encryption hardware capability and VXLAN group-based policy roll-to-roll -roll for micro segmentation. High availability with VS6 live upgrade, dual management modules, four redundant power supplies and N plus one redundant fans always on PoE to make sure that your IoT devices are always powered. It is future ready and seamless supports Wi-Fi 6 and IoT deployment with smart rate multi gigabit up to 4890 watts or 96 times 60 watts or 144 times 30 watts PoE ports. It has quick PoE. It is powerful, modular, and compact with layer three capability, 
BGP, OSPF, PIM, RIP, and for all IPv4 and IPv6 stack. QoS with 64 megabyte buffer memory in the silicone and the benefit of virtual output queue to avoid end of life blocking. Flexibility with this six high speed line card slots, all with up to 160 gigabit per second forwarding per slot to get uh, flexibility into deployment from one gig up to 25 gig connectivity. Let's see how you would migrate for the very popular HP Aruba 5400R to this new AOSCX chassis. If you have an existing 5406R, you would easily migrate to this new 5420. And if you have a 5412R, probably the 6400 would be a better fit for high density. If you have bundle of the 5420R with not so many ports, you can still use the CX5426 slot chassis. If you need more routing scale or more premium layer three like EVPN, then you would need to choose either a 6300 VSF or the 6400 chassis. Just to have a comparison in terms of size, here is the existing 5406 um, chassis. This is the new CX5420, and as you can see, it's a bit smaller than the 5400R, so can easily fit into the existing space allocated for the old 5406. These are the new line card modules with all ports being MaxSec capable in hardware. Again, uh, software to exercise this MaxSec capability will come a bit later. So let's start with the one gig base T module. You have two modules on the left, one non PoE, the other 30 watts PoE without uh, optical for uplinks. And the two on the right side has a four port SFP plus with being LRM capable with 30 watts PoE, or the other still class 4 PoE with two port 25 gig SFP28. Another set of line cards are the smart rate modules with eight port up to 10 gig PoE class 8, 90 watts, or 16 ports, five gig PoE class 6, up to uh, 60 watts. The last two modules are optical, pure optical modules with eight port 10 gigabit SFP plus LRM capable or a 24 port one gig SFP. This is the list of the part numbers for regular part numbers or TA compliant part numbers as well. So you'll find all those uh, switch, chassis, accessory kit, management module, and line cards description here. And there are two bundles, one for a regular bundle and one for TASQ that are available. Next is how we position that platform in the campus network. So it could be in large campus architectures as an access layer where the 5420 will uh, connect a lot of uh, IoT devices or end-user devices in a traditional three-tier three campus architecture. Or it can be deployed as an extended edge VXLAN tunnel endpoint with static VXLAN tunnel to a stub VTEP. In such deployment, not only layer two VLAN can be extended across the fabric, but most importantly, the group-based policy role-to-role -role enforcement rules can be used for micro-segmentation or for macro-segmentation to replace traditional access lists. Other deployment scenarios are fiber to the office with the great SFP density offered by CX5420 or small collapse core aggregation with rich connectivity options where 
The key requirement is to interconnect not only the access but other services like firewall, routers, or uh, wireless LAN gateways. Moving forward with dynamic segmentation, Aruba Central Net Conductor will support CX5420 by end of this year and will enable role-based segmentation for wired clients attached to the 5420 with enforcement on the egress of the VXLAN fabric with the extended edge VTEP functions like the current 6200 switch family. Here is a comparison between Campus chassis with the benefits of migrating from 5400R to 5420. First, the platform will bring our CX operating system with Gen 7 ASIC and embedded NAE, simplifying the operating model. Second, the increased performance with more options for PoE classes. Third, more powerful CPU, more memory and storage to offer better scale. Fourth, high availability with VSX technology for zero downtime live upgrade. Fifth, bigger ASIC table offering investment protection and larger access list possibilities. Six, a unified role-based security with extended edge VTEP role. Other aspects like REST API to help automation or client insight for visibility are great outcomes from our CX. Hardware is ready for hibernation mode and instantaneous power reporting will help for better power management. Finally, all feature comes natively with shipping product with no hidden costs. To conclude, the new CX5420 is the next generation of the highly popular 5400R and the perfect choice for campus networking. Thank you very much for your attention.